Agasta Mono, located in Turkey Western Black Sea region. It's a beautiful city filled with green landscapes and blue skies. Everywhere you look, you will see remnants of its ancient culture like pretty mansions, old inns, mosques, and social buildings. These places show how the city has kept its cultural identity over time. Castamono has lots of historical things like artifacts and towns, which is why people call it the city of sound. It's a special place with delicious local food and stunning natural seeds like valleys, canyons, and waterfalls made by the Kur and Ilgaz mountains. Along its 117 km Black Sea coastal line, you will find untouched bays and forests full of unique plants and animals. Whether you are interested in history, food or nature, Castamono has something amazing for everyone to explore and enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are in Kastamonu, Turkey, famously known as the city of sands. We are about to explore the best places to visit and the most mouth-watering dishes to try in this vibrant city. Let's get started! After our adventure at Elgas Ski Resort in our last video, we are continuing our journey to Kastamonu, which is about 14 km away from the ski resort of Elgas. When you enter this city from the street, you will immediately grasp its historical significance. We are starting our exploration of Kastamonu at the center of philanthropy and flavor. This place was built in 1547 by Yaqub Aa, whose father was Abdul Rahman, a treasurer for Suleiman the Magnificent. The mosque here was originally made by Helmi Chalabi, a teacher of Yavuz Sultan Selim. When it was first built, the complex had a mosque, a school for religious studies, a school for young children, a kitchen serving food to the needy, and a gate house. It shows how generous and caring Castamono has been taught its history. Now let's discover this place. It's time to savor the famous cuisine of Castamono, and for that we have chosen the historical restaurant named Jam Sultan. Jam Sultan, the son of Othman Sultan Bayezid II, was exiled to Castamono along with his father after Bayezid II was dethroned. During his time in Castamono, Jam Sultan became underage to the local people. In honor of his legacy, the Jam Sultan mansion was built which stand as a testament to his time in the city. Today, the Jam Sultan restaurant offers a culinary experience that reflects the rich history and flavors of Castamono. It's a perfect place to indulge in traditional dishes and immerse yourself in the cultural heritage of the region.
guys, here we are in the restaurant and they give us some chef kufte. This one I think you want. And here we have some. And here of course, if you are in Turkey, you need to try this name iron. And of course, for our lunch, we are trying a famous food in Gastamono. Here we have a banduma and meat bread or etli ekmek, which made with bread topped with tasty meat. It's a popular dish in Gastamono. And for banduma, it's chicken braised and special fero for banduma. Both etli ekmek and banduma are delicious choices. So let's enjoy. Happy Dawson! Now let's wander through the charming state of Castamono, soaking on its rich history, vibrant culture and architectural wonders. From ancient mosques and historic houses to burning markets and picturesque neighborhoods, there is so much to explore and experience in this beautiful city. Here we are entering one of the most renowned shops in Gastamono, where you can find Pastelma, one of the city culinary treasures. Gastamono is ended celebrated not only for its historical seats but also for its culinary delights, including unique products like Pastelma and Helva, also garlic. continue to discover the street of this city. Kapala Charshi or the Covered Bazaar is a bustling marketplace known for its vibrant atmosphere and diverse array of shops. But today we are in Saturday, so most of them are closed. Nasrallah complex was built in 1506 by Qadi Nasrallah during the time of Sultan Bayezid II. The complex includes the mosque, a water tank with a fountain and several madrasa. Inside the mosque, the decoration and writing were done by a talented person named Shivki Afandi from Kastamono. But what made the Nasrallah mosque Famous was the speech given by Mehmet Akif Ersoy during the Turkish War of Independence. His speeches were printed in newspapers and magazines across the country. 
helping people believe in Turkish independence. The mosque played a big role in inspiring people during that time. Today, it stands as a reminder of Kastamonu's history and the struggle of independence. We are heading to Munira Sultan El Sanat Lale Charsesi. Located behind the Nasrallah Mosque, Munira Sultan Medresesi was built in 1746. Inside the Medrese, you will find 21 shops where you can purchase traditional handcrafts unique to Kastamonu. It's a perfect stay stop along the route throughout the center of Kastamonu, where you can take a break, explore, and perhaps enjoy a coffee. Castamono is famous with her garlic, so you can find the shops of garlic in everywhere here. I think this is the best helfa that I eat in Turkey. When you visit Kastamonu, trying their simit is a must. It's quite different from the simit you may find in Istanbul or other places. Now we move to Nasrallah Bridge. 
is a significant landmark in Kastamonu. Situated roughly 7 km from the city center, this bridge dates back to the Ottoman era, constructed during the 7th century. Crossing the Defirkrani River, Nasrallah Bridge spans approximately 42 meters in length and 6 meters in width. Named after the governor Nasrallah, who oversaw its construction, the bridge serves as a testament to Ottoman architecture. Even today, it remains functional and draws visitors due to its historical importance and architectural beauty. Like many other places in Anatolia, helped Mustafa Kemal Atatürk and other important leaders during the fate of independence. The city was important for organizing resistance efforts, getting local people ready for action, and spreading the idea of freedom and independence. The folks in Kastamonu were really important in the independence struggle. They gave money, food, and weapons to help out. They also fought in battles and helped with military activities. In this small house in the center of the city, we found the tourist information office. To the Yelani Kuliese or Serpentine Complex was bought in 1272 by Ali, son of Suleiman, during the time of the Shoban Orlara Principality. It was a hospital and health center made by the architecture Said from Kaisarim. Originally, it had two fountains, a mosque, and a tomb. Sadly, in 1837, a fire destroyed most of it. Today only the entrance gate is left. The Yelani Mosque part of the complex was built around the same time as the hospital. It was made by Abdul Fattah Al-Wali, the grandson of Abdul Qadir Gilani, a famous Islamic scholar known for his piety. In Kastamon there is many Han and one of them is Pam Han, both between 1481 and 1582, by Sultan Bayezid II, stands on the west side of Kurishan Le Han in Kastamonu. It was constructed to support the city's growing commerce. Inns like Pam Han served as a hotel for businessmen and travelers, accommodating them along trade routes. Kastamonu has long been a crucial trade center from ancient times to the present day.
of the most important symbol in Kastamunu is the clock tower. It was built in 1885 by Governor Abdurrahman Basha during the time of Sultan Abdul Hamid II. Positioned across from Kastamunu Castle, the clock tower has a special observation deck. From there, visitors can enjoy beautiful views of the city and relax with a cup of tea after a long day. one of the most beautiful place that you should visit when you come to Kastamon. As we arrive to the castle, you will find many shops nearby where you can purchase souvenirs to remember your time in Kastamon. Castle is the highlight of the city, visible from nearly every angle. It was constructed in the 12th century AD during the rule of Byzantine dynasty Komnenos. Today, what remains of the castle, it is inner part, offering panoramic views of the city. The outer walls disappeared by the late 18th century, standing at about 120 meters tall. The castle provided breathtaking views of Castamono. Within its walls, you will find citterns, dungeons, escape tunnel, and the tomb of the Bayrakli Sultan. It's a historical gem that adds to the charm and allure of Castamono.
Today's video wraps up our adventure at the Casta Monocasta, but our exploration of the city is far from over. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for the next video. They wish you a merry adventure in the nature of Castamonu. Bye bye. See you next video.